What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the best sports video games. Let's get right into this. Up first is UFC 3. Back whenever UFC 2 came out, I was just getting into the sports and I absolutely loved the UFC. Once UFC 3 came out, I ended up purchasing it as well, and they made it a lot more advanced than the previous game, and they had a lot more things that you couldn't even do in the previous game. So up first would be the career mode. Career mode was way more advanced, of course, depending on who you selected for your fights and what you did in your fights, depended on how long you were going to last in your career, how many fights you're going to go. The more damage you took throughout your career, the less longer you're going to be in the UFC. So I thought that was a very realistic aspect that they did. On top of that, the fighting styles, they had running moves and running punches, which I absolutely love to do. They had a lot more new UFC fighters, of course, an updated roster, but they also had a lot of updated moves and updated grapples and different things like that striking abilities so on point with the mechanics and the gameplay and then of course whenever you're playing at ufc 3 and you're in the cage it felt like just like how you were watching on tv it felt just like that you had the same exact referees that are on tv in the game you had the same announcers saying very similar things for the fights you had the rounds going on you had the judges so everything is on point for what you see in the game is very similar to what you see on TV whenever you watch actual UFC. So they did an amazing job with this game, and I absolutely love UFC 3. Next is going to be NHL 20. Now for me personally, I only get a new NHL game about every two years. And the reason for that is... I can't justify getting a new NHL game every single year because the main thing that gets updated is only the roster other than some mechanics and some features here and there. But for the most part, it's just an updated roster. This year, however, I got NHL 20 because it's time for me to get it. The last game I had was NHL 18 and I felt like they improved the game NHL 20 so much that I've been playing it non-stop for a long time now and I absolutely love it. I of course give myself a break here and there with other games but for the most part lately I've been playing a lot of NHL 20. The main reason for that is one of my favorite things to do in NHL is franchise mode so that is me being the GM and controlling a franchise and normally I will go and create a new franchise the 32nd team usually I go with the Hamilton Warriors and I create a team like that and I'll go through and I'll just play as the GM of this franchise and I'll just go through and it's a lot of fun controlling your contracts, controlling your players, playing the NHL games with the people that you get on your team. So it's a lot of fun. Also, I have been playing the career mode or basically my player mode. And that's a lot of fun to get your player from his rookie days up until he retires. So that's my goal always to try to improve my player to be basically the next Wayne Gretzky. So it's a lot of fun. A couple features that they added in NHL this year is stuff that they have in other sports games like NBA. And basically that is you can go and see your player's stats. You can go and see more stats of not only what their scores were every single year prior to their current year, but you can also see what teams they were on. And for me, that's a huge aspect whenever I'm acquiring players because maybe uh, they were on a certain team that wasn't giving them a push. And previously they were on a team that was giving them more of a push and more ice time. And that to me is a huge factor whenever I'm trying to trade and acquire players to see what they did and what teams they were on. And maybe that's why they were doing poorly prior to me picking them up. Also, they have it where not only you can go and hire and fire your coaches, but you can also go and have more of your scouts and hire specific scouts for specific jobs for scouting certain regions. So it's a lot more in depth than the previous game I played was, and I absolutely love the game. Next is going to be SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. The reason why I'm putting a 12-year-old sports game on this list is because it had GM mode in it. This is the last year that the WWE game had an actual GM mode in it. And the current games do have a universe mode where you basically control 
all of the roster, basically all of the WWE. You can create new shows and you have control over everything and you don't have to go and sign players. But I absolutely love the real GM mode from back then where you can go and you select one brand and you go and you get your wrestlers and you sign them contracts and you trade with the other brand and you try to be the best show in the WWE and try to be the superior brand. So for me, the GM mode was really on point for this year. I absolutely loved SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. But for SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, you had Raw, SmackDown, and ECW. So to fight to be the best brand, you had three brands. And it was a little bit harder, but it was absolutely a lot of fun. Of course, the career mode, you can go and select a wrestler and go through your career mode, which was a lot of fun. And I absolutely loved playing this game. The roster this year was amazing. So GM mode for me was on point. Next up is going to be NBA 2K19. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm not normally into NBA, but I absolutely love playing it whenever I do play it. The game I had prior to this was NBA 2K16, and the only reason why I got that game is because a year after it came out, it was free for PS Plus. So me and a bunch of my friends ended up getting it, and we started to play it, and I absolutely had fun with that game. And then after a while, NBA 2K19 ended up coming out. And about a year after it came out, it was on sale for $25. And as you guys know, I love purchasing games, especially when they're on sale. So I seen that this game was $25 and I ended up picking it up. Mainly for it, I ended up playing the uh, career mode for my players. So at first, it's kind of like a story mode, which I played through that. And it was a lot of fun, very in-depth. But I continued on and I tried to always improve my player and everything. And on top of that, just like I do with WWE and NHL, is GM mode. I absolutely love taking control of my team and trying to get them to the playoffs and win. So that's my goal every time I try to get a sports game is to play GM mode and absolutely have fun doing so. And this game was a lot of fun. Prior to that, the sports, uh, the NBA games had a little bit easier of mechanics and gameplay, so I'm still getting used to NBA 2K19, but it's still a lot of fun to do. And the last game on this list is going to be WWE 2K20. Now I know whenever this game first came out, and to a lot of people it still has a lot of glitches in it, and a lot of things are still broken, but fortunately for me right now, with the last update that came out, most of my problems that are things that I play in the game are 100% fixed, so I can actually play the game and enjoy the game like I did for 2K19, 2K18, and so on. Mainly what I play is Universe Mode. I also play Career Mode just to get through all the trophies and enjoy it. And all the other trophies for online and everything else, I try to get them. But for the most part, whenever I'm playing Just Have Fun, I'm mainly playing Universe Mode. I try to control all my brands, get custom championships, put them on all my brands just so I can reset all of the stats. And I just have a blast going and controlling and trying to get people and push wrestlers to try to be the next big thing and the next main eventer. So with that being said, I know a lot of people are having problems where theirs are not fixed yet. Mine is, and that's why I put it on this list. I was just going to mention WWE 2K19, but for the most part right now, I haven't touched 19 in a while. Because for me, since 2K20 is fixed, I've been playing a lot of 2K20. Now, I know a lot of people, because they're not fixed, I'm really hoping WWE ends up releasing more updates in the future so they can try to get 2K20 fixed for people so they can actually enjoy it. Because a lot of people in the WWE 2K community are hating the game and they're crapping on it, which I understand because before mine got fixed, I didn't even want to play it. At one point, whenever the game first came out, they did not have championship or create a championship in the game, which is a huge aspect for me for my universe mode. But even once it came out, it was broken along with other features, but I'm glad to say mine is fixed now. So I have all of my championships created and they're working in my universe mode and nothing's glitching. I haven't had my game turn off on me whenever I've been playing it. So I've been very fortunate for what I play it for, for universe mode. Everything seems to be working for me. And of course, that's what I wanted with this game. And that's why I purchased it is to play it. So 
It's not fixed for everybody, but I'm glad to say that it's fixed for me, and that's why I wanted to include it on this list. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, me sharing the best sports games in my opinion. Now, I only mentioned the sports games that I have personally played because there's no point in me mentioning a sports game that I've never played. And I know some people will say, why didn't I mention FIFA or MLB? Those games, those sports in general, are not for me, so I'm not going to play the video game. But I'm not crapping on you if you enjoy those games or if you enjoy other sports games. It's just these are some of my favorite sports games that I have personally played. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. Peace.